Andromedans? Um, they're a particular race uh, that exists in the constellation of Andromeda. Um, they're just one of thousands that exist out there. Um, they are the particular races that I talk to uh, and have had contact with and have uh, given me and shared information with me are human. Um, they're white skinned to light blue skinned, anywhere from four foot tall to eight feet tall. And they are human in, 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 ev in every way. Now where, um, did, where did they originate, Alex? All human life originated in Lyra. Um, and when Lyra fell uh, during a war, uh, long before it's, uh, it, it, this one of the stars there exploded, um, they migrated out uh, from Lyra during a war uh, in, in order to preserve the race, and they went to different parts of our galaxy. Um, so all human life originated from Lyra originally. Um, because of their environment, they will, uh, from generation to generation, pick up physical changes, um, depending upon the surface and the uh, organics of their planets and, and so on and so forth. Um, the different colored race skins uh, have to do with, with genetics involving the stars in which that they're exposed to. Um, so that's basically where they came from. So their primary home star then is Lyra? Yes. And is that currently Originally still their, their home star? No, there's no uh, human life in Lyra. So now where do they exist now? In the constellation of Andromeda. Okay, throughout the constellation? Yes. Okay, they, they must be very plentiful then. There must be a, a great, vast civilization there. If yes, there exist. is. It's an ancient, ancient race. Have they described what their civilization is like to you? Yes, they have. And could you go into <laughs> some sure. of the details that, that strike you the most about their civilization? Um, they're uh, essentially, a, a, no matter where they are, they're a, a one-world government. Uh, ev uh, their society is would be approximately 4,700 years more advanced than ours on a spiritual level. On a technological level, they're, they're 50,000 years. Now, on but a there's a balance between uh, their technology and their spiritual. In other words, the technology they create is based on, on a spiritual necessity to evolve and not on one to defend themselves, even though it can be used for that. Now, when you say 4,700 years advanced spiritually, yes. how, do, how do you measure spiritual advancement in years? I don't, I don't really know. That's, that's how, what they've, they've expressed to me. I see. Um, and they don't even use time uh, in, in their world. Uh, there's no such thing, really. Um, but they use those numbers to accommodate us so that we can use those as a point of reference. I see. Um, what do they uh, do? They call their world in, in their language. They don't. They don't speak. Everything is a symbol there. Uh, the whole race is telepathic. Um, and, and I want to uh, back up just a little bit. There are 28 different races there. Not all are human. Um, many are are dimensional, plasmic, organic. Uh, that were there before the human aspect of the Andromedans themselves or the Lyrans got there and became Andromedans. Um, there's a lot of life on the different dimensional levels that if we were to go to fifth density, um, we would be physical on fifth density, even though here we're on third density, our perspective of them is being spirit. So, you know, on each of the different dimensions, there is an abundance of life that is completely different than how we would perceive it. Um, because, you know, our, our perception is of what third density is like. Even fourth density is very different, but we will have physical form in fourth density. Now, is third density the lowest density, or are there other lower? Uh, the animal and insect kingdoms would be, in, in planetary systems, uh, would be considered lower, but to be perfectly honest with you, I've not had a clear definition of that, because I haven't asked. Um, my focus really has been us, and where do we go from here? So, now, the, what is the main difference between the third density and the fourth density? Um, the real difference is consciousness. Um, in fourth density, you can pretty much instantly create 
uh, what it is that you think. Whatever your thoughts are, you manifest almost instant. Well, it be almost instantaneously. Uh, so there is a, a major degree of responsibility in dealing with that. Also in fourth density, we become more of a group mind. Um, in fourth density, we're all telepathic. In other words, everybody can read each other's minds, which means you have to be real. You can't have hidden agendas because people will see right through you. Also in fourth density, uh, we all become clairvoyants. We'll be able to see energy fields, see life forms, um, which means that if you're hiding something, it'll be seen instantaneously. Um, they've also said that in fourth density, when we move into that, um, our court systems will change. There's still a, a positive and negative. That exists all the way to the fifth density, where you will experience, to a, a strong degree, the, uh, the dualities in, in, in our everyday environments. Um, what will happen is you'll have a judge and you'll have a, a jury who will all be clairvoyants and they will read the energy field and know who's telling the truth and who isn't. Um, and, and everything will be judged based on that, will be based on energy, um, not on words. Uh, uh, when you, in fourth density, when you walk by somebody or you touch somebody's hand, you will instantly know everything about them. Um, so again, there will be no hidden agendas. Everybody will really have to be real. And if they choose to have and continue to play out their agendas, um, whatever those are, then they will have the space. But you will know, uh, or people will know, um, I will know who we're dealing with instantaneously. Um, what is there an economy, and what is the basis no. of their economy? Is it like a spiritual economy, or is it uh, like the value? I've heard some people describe their views of, of other extraterrestrial civilizations as having a spiritual economy where the amount of psychic energy you put into something is given a value. Have they did, expressed any, uh, how their, their social systems work? Okay, I, I know a little bit about that. Essentially, everybody is given exactly what it is they need to evolve. Um, there are many different races, and each each race has 